Hey everybody, this is Chris with Liquid Rock Aquatics, and today I'm going to show you how I modify one of these little clip-on lights for spotlights, or, you know, they're made for chickens, but um, you can put a spotlight in there, and it will set wherever you put it, and they've got this nice little uh, grate that'll make it hold off and not overheat whatever you've got it on. So, I'm going to show you how I prep these. Start off get this thing out of the way loosen this little screw all right now inside see the little zip ties break those cut them whatever set that to the side Now, this piece, make, make sure I tighten up the ceramic in there just a little. Now I've got an issue because the bulb that's going in here is not a traditional spotlight. The bulb that's going in here is gonna be an LED, uh, one that has the little flippy panels on it. It starts out kind of like this and you flip them down to project your light down. Well, that's what I'm using because I found that they work really well. So. And that's because the uh, light that I have is 6,500 on the color temperature. It is 8,000 lumens, and the CRI is 80. So it's like 80% like sunlight, or whatever that's worth. But the reason I use these is to punch down through uh, 20, 21 inches of water on my 90 gallon. It's very hard to get plants started. Once they get taller, it's easier because they're closer to the light. Every four inches or so it cuts your uh, light intensity in half. Well, we're gonna use a really strong light so we can get what the the light down there through that all that water. So it's you can see a little dense in here. But what we've got to do is we've got to take this top and get it lowered down. To about right there and the best way to do that that i found while ugly is highly effective start out kind of right in the middle and just make a little dent you want to make sure you keep this flat on the table because i just warped it a little bit because it wasn't completely flat but you want this ring to stay flat. So, back to where we were. Now, you can see all the way around, I've got little spots started. And this is where it starts taking shape. Back this up a little bit. I should have said headphone warning. Now take your time, go slow. If you notice, I'm only using a screwdriver handle because I want something that's going to put uh, all the pressure in one spot, but I want it soft and I don't want it to add extra weight like a hammer because it'd be way too easy to just crunch this. Now we got kind of a wrinkle started. Now, you can see 
how much that's been flattened. Basically what we're doing is moving this piece closer to this edge because these bulbs are not super deep. And if you need to, you can always bend it up just a little bit if you're careful, or you can bend it down more. This is the third one I've made, so I know right about where it's supposed to sit now. But then you get your bulb, put it in there, and once you know where the edge of the bulb is sitting, then you take this piece, because it's going to be like a triangle bulb in my case, uh, like three fins. I know that one of these holes is going to be covered up. So this was nice and perfect. I bend it about like that. So your angle, you have obtuse angles here and acute angles here. So that whenever you go to put these into a hole, it'll be just about right. Now, Notice there's no hole there. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You just make a nice clean hole, you put that in there, and you're good to go. But right now, this is big and round, and there's no way I can stand a light like this, right? So, you can either use a surface, you could use a hammer, but you're going to straighten these out most of the way about like so and if you set them on a flat surface you can see kind of how close you are it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be effective Now I don't run these, I only run one of these lights constantly and that's on my green water tank. And that's because I want all the green water and algae and phytoplankton and all that crap. Now, we're pretty close, not perfect. But, use a pair of pliers, bend that back up roughly 90 degrees and you may have to bend the end just a little more it takes some playing with it but by doing that I now have a guard that will stand off about an inch inch and a half from where that bottom of the light bulb is that keeps heat from building up it also stops any moisture from uh, turning into vapor and just you know getting up into your light because when you can it's always best to use outdoor floodlights for something like this yeah i'm a redneck i said fur for something like this and since i know roughly what shape this is it's gonna make it easier to line up the holes but now, whenever you put this together, the light bulb has to be in first, obviously. Oops. If you have to twist it just a little bit to make it fit right, that's fine. Okay, this one. Even though it doesn't look that close, it's actually pretty close here. So we'll just squeeze that one. Now this one, like I said, is going to be off. Now our light will stand up over top of wherever we set it. That keeps everything from getting too hot. So now once I find where I misplaced my light bulb, I lose my nets, lose my toothbrush to clean algae, lose my light bulbs. Yeah, you know how it goes. Anyway, under 10 minutes and there you go.